we're seeing pre-COVID numbers, right? So all the people who were home during COVID probably adopted animals, whatever. Now they're back to work full time. Maybe they're working two or three jobs. They can't afford to take care of their pets. And then they're coming in here. A Guilford County Animal Services Administrator there talking about the number of animals people are bringing to the county's Animal Resource Center. It's pushing the facility to its limits. Now, the place is near capacity and it could get even worse unless people in the community step up to help. Fox 8's Justin Lundy joins us now live outside the Animal Resource Center on Guilford College Road. Justin, you saw firsthand what they are facing. Do they have any insight as to why so many animals are coming in right now? Well, Assistant Shelter Director Lisa Lee says that the spring is known as kitten season and they've received dozens of litters as of late. And she hopes if more people take advantage of their of their stray to foster program, then they will actually not be as overwhelmed as they are right now. This is the girl in the world. Meet Godiva. Oh, you this polite six year old dog loves treats and back rubs. She was one of the many animals up for adoption at the Guilford Animal Resource Center. Officials say <laughs> its building is close to capacity because of the uptick in surrenders. And that be prepared to wait two to three hours. Um, if you bring it straight to the shelter, because what we have to do is we have to move animals and clean those kennels. Assistant Director of Animal Welfare Lisa Lee says the adoption center located off Guilford College Road in Greensboro can hold up to 500 animals, though the intake and outtake of animal changes on a day to day basis. Lee says a mix of people simply surrendering their pets and spring kitten season has overwhelmed the shelter. But we're getting a lot of like neonates, little tiny kittens that are maybe only two weeks old, three weeks old, four weeks old, five weeks old. To alleviate the influx and avoid reaching capacity, Lee is asking the community to take advantage of their stray to foster program. That we ask you to, uh, if you're able to, foster that animal for the 72 hour mandatory stray hold. What that does, it keeps the animals out of the shelter and it creates space for us. You foster the animal for 72 hours, we can provide you with food, crates, supplies, whatever you need to make sure that the animal is healthy and safe in your home. And then after that 72 hours, you bring the animal back and we'll get it ready for adoptions. I also asked Lee if they have any plans to expand the Animal Resource Center that opened up in 2021. And she says, as of right now, no, they're simply solely relying on the community for assistance. Reporting live in Guilford County, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. All right, Justin, thank you. And as a reminder, Guilford County does offer spay and neuter vouchers to those who live in the county to help cover the cost. For more information about the program and how you can apply, just visit Guilford County's website and find the information under the Our County tab. And